All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, put the can second. down. Okay. All right, all right, Joey, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoot, do I? Shoot, do I? Gonna need the family talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums. We might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me. You're my family. And curve the light may grow, and it will the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover and leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. We'll be brothers. Shoot, do I? Good. Yeah, that's oh, good. No, it's funny. It's good. It's good. It's good. Coming up in just a few minutes, it's Gary Shandling's show in a new episode. Grant stumbles into those magic years of puberty and wants to know what's going on. And wouldn't you know, Gary's gonna try to explain. And he's gonna do it with style. Hey, you guys, what are you up to? Penny and I planned a day at the races. We decided it's time that Dad and Mike try to become friends. I'd rather watch She's the Sheriff on a big screen. <laughs> Mike, come on. You said you would try if my dad would. All right, all right. But one short joke and I walk. Hey, why do you let these short jokes get to you? You're bigger than that. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> it's just that he seems to enjoy it so much. Well, try to understand his position. It's not often Joe gets to see the top of someone else's head. <laughs> Darling, it's post time. So, Pee Wee wants to learn to play the ponies. <laughs> Hey, I only came because Penny asked me to. And then she asked me how I liked my eggs. Now, boys, be good. Remember, we're here to have fun. Fun? Yes, fun rhymes with none, and we both know what that means, don't we? <laughs> okay, okay. Mike, the important thing about gambling is not to get in over your head. For you, this may pose a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, that's a stupid shirt, but it looks good on you. All right, all right. If you two expect me to babysit you all day, you got another thing coming. Penny. No, this is not open for discussion. You are going to learn to get along with each other, and you are going to like it. You will learn to be polite, and you will be really good at it. Now, I want you to march your fannies out that door and start having fun. Honey. Now, move, 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 move. Penny, I like your style. Oh, men. Whose idea were they, anyway? <laughs> Hi, Donald. Good morrow, good people. And you too, Clifford. Hey, and Donald. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I want you to taste this new house wine that I ordered. Ooh, my favorite sport. Rate the grape. <laughs> so? Well, compared to what Joe used to stock, this tastes more like something you could actually drink. <laughs> hey, 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 Lou, what's with the shirt? Huh, I just made my debut as a midget league football ref. How nice, you're working with kids. Nah, midgets. <laughs> Do I look stupid or what? Both. <laughs> Actually, the, uh, the vertical stripes are very slimming. Yeah, well, I know how to fix that. Clippy, give me a beer. Coming up. And get Donnie a drink on me. Something uh, nice and fruity. <laughs> no offense. None taken. So what's the occasion? Hey, you encouraged me to stand up to my sleazy construction boss when I knew the work was unsafe. I did, I quit, and uh, I'm glad. It's just my way of expressing my platitude. <laughs> Forget it. Hey, thanks to you, I can still look at myself in the mirror. That's because you have integrity, not to mention a strong stomach. <laughs> so, Lou, what are you doing, picking up extra cash? Well, there ain't nothing extra about it. I'm working four jobs. The studio's barely getting by. Four? Yeah, just on weekends. And weeknights, I'm pen setter at Leo's Lanes. And during the days, I got a haul-in service. And I am a bouncer at Slimy's Bar and Grill. Slimy's? Well, it may not be the most glamorous job in the world, but at least they don't pay me enough to care. 
Well, how much do they pay you? No minimum wage? Yeah. I'm shooting for it. <laughs> Lou, but haven't you tried any of the other construction firms? I checked them out, but you know, it's funny how they look at a guy my age. How's that? They don't. <laughs> Lou, you really miss the construction business, don't you? Ah, that don't matter, Donnie. I just have to take care of my family. How are they doing? <laughs> They're doing great, you know. Just the other day, my, my girl says, uh, don't worry, Pop, we're still proud of you. Yeah, they, uh, they're good kids. Jeez, where you going, Lou? Hi, a second half kickoff. If I'm late, the midgets attack like a swarm of bees. <laughs> Stupid doorbell. It's not stupid, it's whimsical. You can call a bird a fish, but if you hold him underwater, he still can't hear you. Okay, and Lou. So where is it? Where's what? You said you had a velvet Elvis painting for the taking. Oh, that. I lied. I just wanted to see. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea just because I bought you a drink today. Lou, the very thought gives me spasms. That's what I'm afraid of. Will you stop? I mean, would you like a beer, Lou? Well, okay. But just one. Would you like a glass? Comes in a glass. Lou, I just want to say that I feel somewhat responsible for you losing your construction job. Oh, forget it, Donnie. It was the right thing to do. I'm glad I'd done it. Yeah, I don't blame you. But no, but you shouldn't be working all these dead-end jobs. You're a builder. You should be out there building. Thanks. Tell me something I don't know. Lou, haven't you always wanted to be an independent contractor? Sure. And you do have your general contractor's license? Yeah, but you still need your liability, your workman's comp, and then it's starting up costs. Ain't nobody got that kind of money. I've got the money. You? Hey, I wouldn't take a loan from my own family. Why would I take one from the Swiss bank? <laughs> I'm not talking about a loan, you insufficient fund. <laughs> I'm talking about being partners. I start you in business, and we go 50-50. Donna, you feeling guilty about me losing my job, ain't you? Guilty? Of course I'm not feeling guilty. Well, your words say no, but your eyes say yes, yes, yes. Lou, think. I know dozens of people who change their homes every few years just to suit their mood or the latest trend. A lot of my friends are like that. A lot of them? All right, all of them. <laughs> the point is, I know the market and you have the skill. We can both profit from this. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. It's tempting. I mean, it's a chance to do what I do best. So your answer's yes? Hey, it'd be toast and breakfast at Slimy's. <laughs> I say, let's give it a shot. Then it looks like we're partners. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? This might be great. From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> Who knows? This might be great. <laughs> Good night, Lou. Good night.